Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we're revisiting a second order OTE pendulum problem and just by way of explanation I tried to record this in a classroom but due to lighting conditions etc and the fact that I was using there was a lot of shine and anyway never mind I just had to do it by screen grab. So we're doing t2 phi t theta squared as per the notes is minus g over l sine theta and if sine theta if theta is very small, that approximates the minus g over l theta. So, I broke this down, the second order here, I broke it down into the ddt of d phi dt. In other words, differentiate with respect to time the velocity, you get the acceleration. Minus g over l sine theta, minus g over l theta. The ddt, and I just rewrote that, I just called that velocity same thing so that equation and that equation are the same and what I said then was that V is d phi dt so going up here if we integrate and numerically solve the acceleration at this lad here we get the velocity and if we integrate or numerically approximate or whatever it is the velocity we get the displacement excuse me we are given two initial conditions, uh, x1, x2, or p1, p2, or whatever it is, and we'll look at this in slight more detail in a minute. So let's just have a little look at the MATLAB script. Sorry for jumping around now. Just leave it there. So we have our initial values. So um, the displacement is uh, pi over 4 and the um, second out here the 0 is for the velocity okay so the time span is naught to 3 in steps of 0.01 t that's time and we're going to get two values here we're going to get the ODE 45 approximation to the second order which will give me the velocity and then we're also going to get another column which is the ODE 45 of the velocity which will give me the displacement. On the right hand side as before ODE 45 we call the function pendulum we have the time span and we have P0 and then we do the plot. So let's just go and look at the so there we are pendulum P dot you know, um, gravity 9.81 the length is 2 P dot, we are just initializing. Remember, we're going to get a column for displacement and we're going to get a column for velocity. So we just initialize it to zero. Now, the, just go back here. This guy here, what is the velocity? What's the initial velocity? Zero. So the initial velocity is zero far um, there and for p dot 2 that's the acceleration it's minus g go back here yeah, sorry for jumping it's minus g over l theta minus g over l theta so sorry about that uh, so I'm back to here minus g over l theta so, and that's the the first value which is pi over 4 so remember the initial velocity for the displacement is pi over 4 go back to the script now when you run this in class t and p will be two columns so the, where the mouse is now p all the rows column 1 comma t all the rows comma 2 so you're plotting all the rows in the first column there all the rows in the second column so here all the rows in the first column is the displacement and all the rows here is the solution to the second first order differential equation in other words the solution to the acceleration and that will give us the angular velocity so this guy here gives me the angular velocity this guy here gives me the horizontal displacement and then you put on some labels and I leave that up for a bit but you could put in a legend and a title and then down here you can save the figure 
So <clears throat> I hope that's okay. And thanks very much for listening. <laughs>